Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a little quick update on the channel's, uh, well, what's going to happen on the channel in the future, if you want. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to be getting a new mic, um, because this mic is not great, and I've had so many people constantly comment about that, and I am aware of it. Um, and I think it's definitely about time that it got replaced with something better and something that actually makes my sound sound good when I uh, talk to you guys. So uh, I'm going to be getting a new headset. It will be a Logitech. I think it's a 9, uh, 930 sorry, or something like that. Uh, I can let you know in another video precisely what the number was. But um, it's a very good headset. It's got very good sound quality and... Just in general, it's rated one of the best headsets, so I'm going to go for that. Um, I'll get it most likely at the end of this month and get it uh, delivered hopefully quite quickly. Uh, so I'll have it all set up and ready to go for when I'm going to start doing some of these different bits for you guys. Uh, so yes, that's, that's coming. And also this mic is starting to break, which I've noticed in some of my videos and I know some of... Uh, well, for the viewers and that have said that it breaks a lot and it's got delay and stuff like that, which it does, and I've noticed it in particular now. It starts to happen a lot, which is really annoying, um, and I'm not I'm not going to put up with that anymore. So I'm getting a new mic. So that's that announcement, and I know that will make a lot of people very happy as well. <laughs> so the second announcement is obviously in case you didn't know because there's some people that still don't know this even though i've said it quite a bit uh, i am doing my a level exams at the moment so i am quite busy doing those which is why i haven't brought out very many videos for the channel recently obviously i've been quite occupied trying to study for these a levels and, and do the best that i can in them so uh, I had to put them before, obviously, this and YouTube, so, uh, yes, I did have my reasons, but I still try and bring out at least something a week for you guys. Um, I think I've managed to do that so far, actually, which is pretty good. Um, I can tell you that I've only got three more exams left to go. Uh, I've got one more at the end of this week on Friday, um, then I've got another one two weeks later, and another one the week after that. And then once that one's done, I'm finished with exams and I can just get back to going straight back to this and basically throwing videos at you guys. <laughs> um, I'll be able to do videos very quickly and a lot of them as well. So I'm quite excited about that. Uh, but obviously it's not going to happen until the exams are done. So yes, you'll have to wait for that. Um, so that's that announcement. Now, the big announcement part the bit which you guys are currently looking at on screen. <laughs> right, so this um, set of images that you can see all over the screen in front of you at the moment are loaded with uh, different games, which I'm sure everybody would have figured out by now. Um, you're probably wondering why the hell they're on the screen. Right, so <laughs> these are the future games that I'm going to be recording on this channel and what I'm going to be doing. So, some people notice that a few of these games I've already actually done on my channel, but um, some of them aren't finished, and some of them I'm doing a HD series of and stuff like that. Uh, so, for example, Republic Commando needs to be finished. Uh, that's why it's on this list, because it is going to be finished, and yes, it will be done after my exams, I will be doing that. Then we've also got Call G4 up there, which will need to be finished as well, which will be done after my exams. Uh, then we also have, you'll notice the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, uh, this PC version, the top one. Um, I'm doing a HD series of at the moment, so I'm going to finish that uh, afterwards as well. And uh, I'll get around to explaining the PS2 and all that images in a minute. Um, but yes, I am going to be finishing up these different series that I've got on the go at the moment. And uh, I'll also be doing a load of new ones. So, first of all, before I begin going through the list and that, 
I can't guarantee that every single one of these games that you see on the screen will be done. I cannot guarantee that. I might decide to uh, not do one for some reason, whatever it could be, but um, I'm going to try and do these. That is my plan. Um, they will not be in any particular order. They will be random, and I will try and keep as many fans as I can because I know that I have different subscribers and viewers that watch my channel that some prefer zombies content, some people prefer Star Wars content, <clears throat> some people prefer Harry Potter content, and you get the picture. And obviously it's difficult to keep constantly keeping one audience satisfied while the other's not satisfied um, because they haven't got the content that they want. And uh, it's always a bit of a constant game of trying to do each series at once. So, what I'm going to try and do, I don't know if this is going to really work that well, but I will try it, is um, each day or so, I will try and upload at least one video from each series. So, like, I'd have a video from the Harry Potter series, then a video of the Star Wars one, then a video of a Call of Duty one, or the Zombie one, and you get the idea. Um, this way, it will keep everyone happy, which is what I'm trying to do. Um, and it will mean that content will be coming out for each set of viewers and subscribers and they get to see what they want rather than having to watch uh, something else that they don't particularly enjoy as a game or something like that. But yes, that is my idea <laughs> and uh, we'll see how that goes. If that doesn't work, I'll come up with another idea to try and make something else work. But for the time being, we're going to stick with that idea. Anyway, now I've got through that. Uh, let's have a look at the things that are going to be, well, hopefully showing up on the channel. Um, I can guarantee some of them will be showing up as a definite, in particular the ones that aren't finished yet. But there will be uh, new ones, obviously, as you can see, and I can't guarantee that they'll all come on, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to try my best to make sure that all these come onto the channel. Um, and quite a few of these have been brought to me via demand, so let's go through them, shall we? Okay, so on the left we've got the basically all the Harry Potter games. I've got these all in sections as you can see. So we got um at the top Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the PC version, so that is uh H D series version which I uh started doing and I've still got quite a bit of it to do, so yes, that will be done. I will be doing that pretty soon, in fact, probably after the exams pretty much. So yeah, that'll be done very quickly. Um, also, to add on to that HD point, I've also got the mucking around with mods, uh, like made up version of the HD version of the Chamber of Secrets and the Prison of Azkaban versions. Uh, that will be coming out for the end parts of those two series. Um, I didn't put their pictures on here because it takes up a lot of space and it's unnecessary as there are only just two videos that are going to be added in. Uh, so yes, that's going to be happening. Uh, so that one will definitely happen. Then we got the Philosopher's Stone on the PS2. Now, if you don't know the PC and the PS2 versions, or the console versions, I should say, are uh, actually very different from one another. They were made by two different companies, and uh, they don't relate in any way whatsoever. So <laughs> they are completely different games. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing, is I'm going to be playing the Philosopher's Stone on the PS2, so you guys can see that version. I'm also going to be playing Chamber of Secrets on the PS2, so you can see that version of Chamber of Secrets. And again, I'm going to be doing the Prisoner of Azkaban on the PS2, so you can see that version. There's only those three games that are different um, on the consoles compared to the PC, otherwise all the others are the same. Uh, but yes, I will be doing those three. Uh, the Quidditch World Cup I started uh, a little while ago, and I put a few videos up for that. Um, I will keep playing that. It probably won't be the most frequent thing in the world, but I will put up videos for it still, so I hope you will enjoy that. Uh, the Goblet of Fire I'm going to start doing. I would quite like to play that game for you guys. Uh, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do it on. I might do it on the PS2, because the PS2 version of that game is uh, kind of a living hell. So, yeah, I'll probably do that on the PS2. 
Um, uh, then I'll be doing the Order of the Phoenix. Obviously, that will be on the PC. I'd rather do that on the PC. And I actually quite enjoy that game. It's not too bad. Um, the Half the Prince, then I will do after that as well, probably. And obviously, the Fully Hellers as well. Uh, so that's that series that I will be trying to go all the way through. We'll see what happens with that. <laughs> That's a bit more of a long series that uh, will take time, but we'll see what happens. Um, then we move over to the Time Splitters series, as you can see, and I know a lot of people know about Time Splitters, and there are a few that don't. It's a genius game if you don't know about it. <laughs> so, um, I have already done the story for Time Splitters 1 and for Future Perfect, and a bit of the story for number 2. So what I plan to do is finish the whole of number twos and um, also do the challenges and a few arcade games and stuff for each of the Time Splitters games um, and put those up. So basically I'm going to do everything for all those games and get them up on the channel for you guys. Um, so yes, they're going to happen. I can tell you right now that those will definitely happen because I have got a whole plan for those and uh, I have been set basically I want to do those in particular so I will be doing those um, moving over we have the Star Wars column so when you see first of all Star Wars Battlefront and Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the bottom obviously in the past I've done the story for Battlefront 1 uh, all the way through and I did a bit of Battlefront 2's but it kind of broke and things <laughs> on my PC so that I couldn't actually progress through the campaign, which was really annoying. Um, I don't know if that's fixed again yet, seeing as that was on my old hard drive, which broke, and I haven't tried it again on this new hard drive yet. Uh, I will give it a go and see what happens. Um, if it does work, then I will very happily play uh, the rest of the campaign for Battlefront 2 for you guys and get that up, because I would like to finish that. But obviously, if it didn't work, then I can't really do a lot about that. Um, and I don't have it on the PS2 or anything, so we'll just have to see what happens there. Otherwise, what you will be seeing for those games are mod maps. I will be constantly doing mod maps for those games. That will keep happening. Um, you will see them sometimes frequently, sometimes not so frequently. It will vary depending on other games that I'm doing. Uh, but you get the idea. It will happen. Uh, Republic Command, I've already said that I'm going to go and finish. The reason it wasn't finished a long time ago is, again, because of the hard drive breaking. I lost all my data for all that game. Um, so I had to start all over again from the beginning. And I was doing other series at the same time at that point. Um, so I had to kind of slowly play through that and get to the point where I was, which I have again now. Uh, so I'm going to pick that up and start playing that one again which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, obviously, at the top, we have Night Steel Republic 1 and 2. Right, so something to note about this series, both of them. So, I did do a bit of um, Night Steel Republic 2, uh, the story of that, at one point, and I got some uh, interesting feedback for that series. The feedback that I got was... Um, we really enjoy you playing it like this and uh, we think it's really uh, interesting the way you've done and we like the way that you find all the extra bits you don't just do the main story and stuff like that uh, which is what I always try and aim to do guys I like to make sure you see everything about a game if I could possibly do that um, but the thing that people didn't really enjoy so much was the fact that I kind of didn't speak while playing it uh, I just played it without speaking. Now, to me, I actually believed that it was better me not talking during the Knights of the Old Republic games. I thought that people would prefer that. But um, it turns out I was completely wrong. <laughs> and uh, everybody actually wants me to talk while I play those games because uh, they think it would be interesting to hear what I have to say while I'm playing them. Um, which is fair enough, I guess. <laughs> I can happily do that. So, what I've decided to do, seeing as I first of all haven't really played number one much, I've only made one video of it a long time ago, um, is I'm going to start them both again, 
this will be the last time that I start number two again. Uh, I'm going to do what I did before in regards to uh, having certain different mods on them because people liked it when I was playing with the different mods because they thought it really added to the gameplay. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Um, I also will talk <laughs> through them this time as that's what people want me to do. So I will talk through each one of those. Um, but what I will definitely not do is talk a lot when there's obviously the main story like clips and things. I'm not going to talk through those really much, maybe a little bit, like to explain something or whatever, but nothing more. Um, and just I'm not going to talk when people are in like conversations and things like that because I want to make sure that you guys understand what's going on and things like that. And that's kind of what that game is. Uh, but I will talk through them this time round. So yes, I am going to be restarting KOTOR 2 again. And I will obviously start KOTOR 1. Um, now, people will probably be wondering whether I do KOTOR 1 before 2 this time. Uh, the answer to that is I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet. Um, I might do you go to a 1 before 2? I really don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, I, I, Like I said, I'm going to be doing these things in random order, so I might possibly do number 1 before number 2, but we'll see what happens. What I can promise you, though, is I'm going to be playing with the Restore Content mods for both of the games, because there's one for number 1 as well as number 2 now, um, which will be interesting, especially as I haven't really seen uh, any of the restore content for number one. I've seen a tiny bit, but not a lot. Whereas the number two, I've seen it all before because I played that before with the uh, restore content mod. So it'll be quite interesting for me uh, to play Kotor one without knowing anything about the restore content mod. Really, like I'll obviously read the notes of where they put stuff in, but I won't know like what the story is in those areas or anything like that. So it's all going to be very new to me, which I'm kind of uh, looking forward to, actually. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see what happens there with that. Uh, anyway, that was a long talk. Moving on to the next section, which is very small, is the uh, Lord of the Rings section. So the Fellowship of the Ring, again, the reason that's not finished is because of the hard drive problem <laughs> and losing all the save data for that. Um, I have managed to play up to where I was before with you guys now. So I'm going to carry on with that series, and yes, I will talk through the rest of it in case people were wondering about that. Uh, but I will finish the version of the ring uh, all the way through, so yes, I'm going to be doing that. Uh, the Return of the King, I'm going to keep playing um, the main story and stuff for you guys, so you get all that. And I was also planning to play each mission once I complete the story, and also the bonus missions uh, that you can get when you complete the game. Uh, with each of the characters and do a uh, little like, sort of add on to that with that series. So that's what I'm going to do with those. Um, now I'm moving on to the Call of Duty section. <laughs> so, Call of Duty 4, obviously, you know about. I am doing that already. I'm going to keep going and I'm going to finish it. Um, so, yes, there's not a lot more to say about that. But what I will say, though, is uh, when Infinite Warfare comes out, um, I will play Call of Duty 4 Remasters, like the new one that they've got coming out, uh, and show you the hell out of that, as I know a lot of you will want to see that, so I will do that for you guys, so you can um, well see what the difference is and the change and so on, and also I'm really looking forward to playing Remaster of COD 4, it is one of my most favourite Call of Duty of all time, and it'll be really good to play it again with like uh, just a much better scenery and everything to it as well so I'm looking forward to the remaster of that so that will come up when um, obviously the game comes out which is not till November so that's quite a while yet but uh, I will do that uh, Black Ops 1 I'm going to be playing the campaign for uh, you guys so you can see that I know I said that I wouldn't talk through the Call of Duty campaigns anymore and I've not had anyone complain to me about that and say that they want me to talk through them. Uh, so I'm actually not going to talk through the campaigns. I'm going to still remain quiet with them. I obviously do my little intro before each one of the videos that I do for the campaigns. Uh, but 
I'm going to stay quiet for them because obviously they're ridiculous with their story content most of the time. So uh, I think it's better if I don't talk for those. And maybe said that they want me to talk. So I'm going to uh, keep it was uh, my word, basically. So yeah, um, that will be the story for Black Ops 1. Um, Black Ops 2, again, will be the story too. Uh, I will try and get the different endings as well on that if I can and different like things that you could do. Um, Black Ops 3, I'm going to be doing the story. I'm also going to be doing the Nightmare campaign as well because uh, a lot of people demanded that. And the fact that Nightmare campaign has been more demanded than the main campaign means that I might actually play the Nightmare campaign before the main campaign on Black Ops 3 for you guys. Uh, so, yeah, I will probably be doing it that way round. Uh, but I will be bringing that for you with uh, Black Ops 3. And then at the bottom, you can ignore the resurrection part, but uh, the zombies' point of view, that will keep going forevermore. <laughs> That's never, ever going to stop. I'm going to keep doing zombies' content forever, ever more. Um, <laughs> it's probably one of the things that I will keep doing content for quite frequently. Um, in particular, I'm going to start doing something that so many people have asked me to do, which is strategies and things for each map. So a lot of people ask me how I actually am really good at zombies and how I survive really high waves and what my strategies are, my tactics and different things like that. Um, and if you think about it, writing that all down for each and every single map, that's like a, an essay. <laughs> It's like ridiculously huge if I wrote that down. Um, so what I plan to do is I'm going to make a series for that, which will be for each and every single map um, in Zombies, including any new ones that come out, obviously, uh, once I get all my strategies figured out for that and so on. Then I'll be doing those too. Uh, so that will be happening. Also, um, I'm going to be putting up that buried Easter egg tutorial and... Uh, we've got how to obtain the bow for the rice and truck and also uh, the plunger tutorial and the flaming plunger as part of that as well, um, which will be coming out. And those will be coming out straight away after I finish my exams. So those will be coming out straight away, very quickly, uh, to make everyone happy because I know people want them. But I know people have heard that before, but some people haven't, so I will say it again. Um, and just in general, zombies content is going to keep coming out. There will be loads of different things. I've still got loads of little Easter eggs to go through on Black Ops 2 and some on Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 3 and stuff. And uh, it's never going to end. <laughs> also, I'm going to start doing some uh, gameplays with some of my viewers and subscribers, um, which should be quite exciting. I'm actually kind of looking forward to that. <laughs> so, yeah, that will be happening. Uh, and also I'll play with my friends still and put up videos of that. Um, but otherwise, moving on from there, we have on the side um, a potential series, which is the Penumbra series. Now, I love the Penumbra games. I think they're really, really good with their story and just in general are very fun games. Uh, they're jumpy games, obviously. Some people who have seen Amnesia... Um, you might know that the number was the, if you like, prequel <laughs> to Amnesia, uh, or it was the game that was made before Amnesia by the same developer. And uh, I just think it's a really good game, and the storytelling on it's brilliant. Obviously, it's an Ivy series. Um, some of my viewers probably won't like it for the fact that it's creepy and stuff like that, but. I'm still determined to do it. Uh, we'll see how well it goes with the rest of the community, but I still would quite like to go through those series, uh, that series, sorry, and um, well, just play them, and they're really fun. Um, and I think most people should like them. But what I would also like to do with those is, if I can, <laughs> try and get a camera on my laptop or something to work <laughs> that's when I say can, uh, get them to work and uh, show me playing it uh, with my actual face in the background as well, as I think it would be more interesting if you saw my reaction while playing the games. I have played them for a little while now, so I haven't really remembered everything that's on them. 
Uh, so I'm going to forget a lot of the jump scares and things like that. So it should be quite interesting. And uh, I think most people have preferred to see more action when it comes to playing a horror game. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that. I might also be playing some of those with my friend uh, Winnie. You've seen him on the channel before at points. Um, he will probably join me for that and obviously be part of the face cam as well. And we might take it in turns uh, for each level, playing it through, and you get to see both of our reactions and things. Uh, so that should be quite interesting, and I think that series would do quite well. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, if you want to let me know in the comments, that would be great. Uh, also, let me know in the comments what you think about me doing these series. Do you think it's the right series to go for? Um, do you want anything else added to the list? <laughs> you know, it's quite big. Do you want any more added to the list? Uh, if you do, then obviously put them in the comments and I'll have a look. I would quite like to, even though it's not on here, um, once I own the new Doom, I would quite like to play uh, the new Doom and show you guys that, because that, to me, was quite an interesting looking game. And I've played the old Dooms before and I love them, so I reckon the new one should be quite good. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, also, I had a few people ask me if I would play Shadow of Mordor. Uh, I will think about it. <laughs> uh, in fact, you know what? Comment, do you want me to play Shadow of Mordor? Um, Shadow of Mordor is like the modern Lord of the Rings game that's a bit darker and all that. Uh, I won't spoil anything for anyone who hasn't played it yet, because you know, I know what it's like when you get spoilers, it's not great. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys want me to play that. Obviously, if I get a lot of people saying yes, then I probably will. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's for the Jack Alex channel all this, this little update. Uh, now, in case people didn't know, because I know a lot of people still don't know this, um, I have a secondary channel which is specifically for the Batman Arkham games. Um, it's called the Arkham well, it's actually called Batman Arkham World. It was called the Batman Arkham World, but I changed it. Um, it's specifically where I play the Batman Arkham games and also any other games that are related to Batman that I might like to put on there. Uh, and obviously it's not going to be as active as this channel, because it's my main channel, which I do a lot of stuff on, but uh, it still has a lot of activity on it at the moment, because it's just been started up and stuff like that. Uh, and obviously this is it here, and these are the games that are going to be on it at the moment, because, well, there's, <laughs> there's not anything else really to put on it at the moment, and it is just the Batman Arkham channel. But I would quite like to add, after I've done all these, um, Lego Batman and probably Batman Begins and things like that, some of these older games that um, a lot of people don't know about, which are also pretty good. So uh, I'll probably do those eventually. But what I am aiming to do, obviously on this channel at the moment, I've done the whole of the story for Arkham Asylum, and I've done pretty much all the challenges for Arkham Asylum as well. Uh, I've got a few more left to do, and also the Joker DLC pack and stuff like that, uh, which I'm going to put on the channel soon. Uh, I intend to also play the whole of Hockham City story, uh, obviously all the side missions and uh, challenges and things like that. And I'm doing a few challenges at the moment because they're quite quick to do, and I don't have a lot of time at the moment to make videos and things like that, so I'm doing those. Um, and yeah, just going to be doing that for those two, I think, first, and get those onto the channel. It depends how long that'll take me, hopefully not too long. Um, also, I'm going to be doing the Riddler trophies for each of those, in case uh, people are wondering about that. I will do guides for those. Um, it will probably take... I don't know if I'll be able to do those before what you can see in the middle of the page, which is the new Batman Return to Arkham game. So, this is basically Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City with all their DLC and stuff uh, for the current gen console, so the Xbox One and the PS uh, PS4, sorry. And um, they're all remastered and they actually look really decent. The trailer's just come out today for it and I'm pretty hyped for it. 
Uh, it doesn't come out till July, so there is a possibility that I might be able to do those through the trophies for uh, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, the old versions beforehand, but I, I'm not sure I will be able to do them. We'll see what happens, so. But if I don't, it's alright, because I'm going to go and play uh, the new Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City and uh, go through all of those with the new updated graphics and things like that. And instead of doing the Riddler trophy guides for the older Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, uh, I'll do it for the new Return to Arkham version, as it is essentially the same game, so there won't be any changes to that. Uh, it's just it'll be updated graphics and stuff, so I'll just do it for those instead. And then after that, I'll do Batman Arkham Origins and obviously Arkham Knight. Uh, so on this channel, I'll be able to do all the exclusive content for the Arkham games except for Arkham Knight unfortunately I can't do the Scarecrow Nightmare I think it's called pack for that as uh, it is a PS4 exclusive and I don't own a PS4 sadly I have a Xbox One so uh, I won't be able to do that and obviously that content's not on the PC either which is crap and sucks but there you go uh, so I won't be able to do that, but I will be able to do all the other stuff, which is pretty good, and I think that's what most people want to see, so I will be doing that. Uh, and obviously, like I said, I'll do any other Batman games, probably after I've done all these in the future. And obviously, if there are any more Arkham games that come out in the future, which supposedly there might be another one at the end of this year, or the start of next year, that will end up on this channel as well. So all Batman-related games are going to end up on this channel. Um, one of the reasons why I did this is because the Batman games, uh, there's quite a lot to them, and if I put them on the Joker Alex channel, I believe that they'll just get lost <laughs> um, and disappear in the crowd, which is kind of sad, but it's just the way that I see it, which is why I've created this channel for them, because I know that it won't get completely lost, as it's just going to be Batman stuff, which is the better way of doing it, in my opinion, uh, which is why I've done it. But obviously, if you haven't seen this channel yet, then go and check it out. Uh, it hasn't got loads of stuff on it yet. I just want to warn you that it was only just created like at the beginning, at the end of last month. Um, and I've managed to do, like I said, the Arkham Asylum story and quite a few of the challenges on that, and a few of the challenges on the city. But I haven't managed to do a lot more on it yet because I haven't had time. But obviously in the future I will get all this onto that channel. So just give it time. But if you haven't seen it or checked it out already then please go and check it out. It would be awesome if you guys could show it some support as well. I really appreciate that. Uh, but otherwise, that's it. So yes, uh, going back to this one again. Um, so just to finish up the video here. Uh, so yeah, I want to hear what you guys think. What are your opinions on this? Obviously, uh, this is the update to the channel. I know before I do end this that there is a pretty demanded series by a few people uh, to go on this channel, which is the Serious Sam series. Uh, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Serious Sam. I think it's a brilliant game. Uh, I probably will end up doing it one day. Uh, I don't know if I put it as a priority over all these things, so, but obviously things can change. So what I want to hear from you guys is, do you think these are the right choices for games to come out in the future? Um, do you want me to add many more games to this list? <laughs> uh, do you think that the Serious Sam games are a good idea to put onto this list as well? and uh, Shadow of Mordor and things like that. So I just want to hear what you guys have as an opinion. Obviously this was a little channel update video for everyone. Uh, just telling you what is going to happen. And obviously if there is anything else, then I will put it down in the description of this video if there's anything else that's going to happen in the future uh, from popular demand or what you guys say in the comments and things like that. Uh, say yes. I will let you know in the future if there's anything new. Otherwise, that's it for this video. It was just a quick update for the whole of the channel. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys could leave a like on the video, I'd very much appreciate that. Uh, if you haven't already, check out the rest of my channel and the Arkham World channel. Um, and 
Um, obviously, if we pick up a few more subscribers, that'd be brilliant. Uh, we have actually gained quite a few subscribers recently, which is a bit strange as I haven't been that active, but I, I, I don't know what to say, really. Um, thank you very much, I suppose, for coming along and subscribing to me. It means a lot. Um, and it just seems strange that it's happened when I haven't been so active, but there you go. Uh, I guess these things happen. <laughs> anyway, um, that's it for the video. So I will end it here, and I will see you guys in my next video. So uh, see you then, guys.